Hi, hello, welcome back. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Rebecca, I am an artist, and this channel I use to express myself creatively through makeup. Today I have some things to talk about. Before I forget, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, hit subscribe, hit notifications, so that you can keep up with me and see what I'm doing as far as makeup, skincare, and unboxing. Okay, now to what I wanted to talk about. I get it now. I get it. I absolutely get what they're doing now. By the way, we're doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. Got this today. This is the February BoxyCharm box of 2021. It is the XOXO box. I can't really say it was highly anticipated. I feel like the Fresh Start box was a big one. People were just waiting for it. But this one, it feels like I just got the Fresh Start box. It's already February. Not complaining. I love getting these boxes every month. But I have to admit, I didn't have high expectations for this box leading up to its arrival because I found out some information about BoxyCharm that is new to me. I don't know if you all already know about this, but I did not. Ipsy bought BoxyCharm. Ipsy is known for, I don't, you know, I don't even know what they're known for. I really don't. I don't, subscribe to Ipsy. I've never been interested in subscribing to Ipsy. BoxyCharm Box is known for their full-sized looks products. Ipsy is not looks. That is something that I have heard. I do not have first-hand experience, but it's what I've heard. It's what I've read. Ipsy is not looks. BoxyCharm's looks. I have watched some videos of people talking about Ipsy and BoxyCharm and how they've competed with each other over the years. I also don't know how long it's been, over a year? I don't know. But they started out the way they were, which was Ipsy was doing sample size, Boxy was doing full size, then they just tried to one-up each other every few months or every month. So Ipsy was offering full size products and BoxyCharm had to up their Lux products. They had the base box and they had the Lux box and they had the premium box and Ipsy started doing the same. Anyway, so they were just competing with each other the whole time. But it wasn't until recently that I noticed a change in the quality of the products in the BoxyCharm box. And I noticed a change in their social media. Something just fell off to me. Their posts were weird. They started posting hacks from other social media accounts of products that they would never put in their boxes. So I don't even know why they put this stuff on the page. Very weird. Just several weird things. Hacks that were worthless, terrible hacks, and products that were weird and not products that they would promote. All that being said, I am not surprised by the things in this box this month. The things that came in this box are the Brow Bar by Rima. It's the Bombshell Brow Kit, which is what I picked out to customize this box. The Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. The Tristique Eye Duo Good Vibes Mascara and Eye Pencil. Glamier Pink Lux Glitter Eye Brush Collection. And the Saint Lux Beauty Limited Edition Liner Duo. I could not wait to open this box for this video. So I opened it earlier today to see what was inside because I just had to find out if, if my intuition, if my instincts about what this box were going to be like were right. And they were. Unfortunately, very sadly, this box makes the January Fresh Start box look incredible. And I really wasn't even happy with that. But comparatively, the January box is great. I did go ahead and try out two of the things that came in here. I tried the Saint Looks Lip Liner Duo and the Tristique Eyeliner and Mascara. The Tula Poreless scrub thing, exfoliating blackhead scrub, I will not be trying because I do not use physical exfoliants anymore. So I will be regifting that. Oh, I also tried this. I'm wearing that brow bar product. I'm wearing the eyeliner and mascara and the lip liner on my face. This all came in the box. The mascara actually, you know what? I am not mad at the mascara. The mascara quality itself is good. I do like it. I do have to say something about it though. First of all, this thing is $44. And you are not paying $44 for an eyeliner and mascara. What you are paying for is this contraption. This is a half eyelash curler and absolutely no, 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 no. I tried this, no, absolutely not. The thing that makes me feel really sad about that is I did go to their social media and look up some videos. I just wanted to get information. I always research brands before I use any products. 
always. So I looked up Tristique, I looked up the founder and I looked at the website and the founder had said that it took three years to design this product and to be able to get it out on the market. <sighs> but it is so bad. Oh, it's so bad. This is not a good design. It is not good. I found myself using those products and that will be coming after this whole little spiel and review. So you can take a look at how this product is in action and why I hate it. The eyeliner, great. The eyeliner is great. It took a second to get to smudge, but it did, it did smudge. And I actually do really like the mascara. I do not like that eyelash curler. That thing is absolutely worthless. Don't even bother using it. The brow bar, I feel like is very dated. I mean, this is, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is so 2020, but seriously, maybe even 2019. Very powdery brow. Oh my gosh, maybe even 2018 now that I'm thinking about it. It's a powder brow. The, screw it, I'll take it out. First of all, I thought this would be metal. It's plastic. It sounds, I don't know, whatever. I'm, I just, I don't want to complain about everything today. So this is that brow bar, the bombshell brow kit in dark. I obviously did not use this. This is for black, black hair, very dark black hair. I did use this, which is, I think it's actually a fine color for my brow. I use this powder, this cream, and there's actually brow highlighter in here. Who does that still? Who? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you still use brow highlighter under your brow and it looks good and you're happy with it, good. I don't do that anymore though. I also don't do powder brows. I'm into the grandpa brow. You guys may think looks absolutely horrible, but that's just what I'm into. So I'm not into the drawing a line underneath and on top to create the shape and fill it in with powder and then maybe do some brow strokes. And that's just not what I'm into anymore. I'm not into that. I'm not into highlighting underneath the brow. I just feel like this is a little outdated. The lip liner, I am a big fan of. I only tried one of them. I am assuming the other one is the same formula. I really like it because it is the opposite of what I want in an eyeliner. The eyeliner, I want to be super, super soft, like butter. And a lip liner, I want to be a little bit harder so that it'll create a more stable line. And so the Saint Lux lip liner creates a really, really nice, stable, straight line that isn't going to bleed or smudge. That is wonderful. I'm happy with this product. That is probably my favorite than everything here. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely my favorite. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. The brow bar from 2018 is $40. I'm sorry, that's so judgmental. I mentioned the Tristique is 44. The Blackhead Exfoliant by Tula is 32. The lip liner, okay, so the lip the liner is 40 and that to me is a shitload of money for some lip liner. That's $20 each lip liner. I do really like it. I just don't know if it's $20 per liner worth of lip liner. And I don't know if you can buy these individually. So if you can only buy these as a duo and you just have to drop $40 for both of them, I don't really think it's worth it. I love it. I really do. I like it. It looks like It'll probably stay on my lips just exactly the way it is all night. And so maybe because of that, it will be worth it. But $40 for two lip liners, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't mentioned one thing in this box and it is the thing that I can't even believe is in here. What the fuck is this? What? I don't ever want to receive a product that has the warning for California residents sticker on it because Regardless of what state, this product may contain chemicals known to the state of California and every other state because science is the same everywhere to cause cancer, birth defects, and other reproductive harm. I don't want this. I don't want this. No one should have this. Why? Why would they add a product to this box that has chemicals that are known to cause cancer? or birth defects or reproductive harm. The fact that this is a warning at all is very frustrating. <laughs> I will open it. The smell is horrendous. I probably just got cancer by smelling it. It's this, do you, I mean, it's almost hilarious. Okay, for one, BoxyCharm known for their Lux products. This is not Lux at all. 
These smell equally bad because this thing smells terrible. Horrible, chemically plastic smell. Just so you know what it looks like up close. Speaking of 90s, which was the look I was going for on my face today, this was like a 1992 pencil case. Okay, let's talk about these fucking brushes. Someone explain this to me. Why? Why were these in the box? I actually went to the Glamier website and they actually have some brushes that look really nice. Like really nice quality looking brushes. They don't even sell these on the website. Why were these in the... Okay. Not like I needed one more thing to bitch about, but let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but there is glue that is still sticky all over this brush from literally top to bottom. It is sticky everywhere and it is scratched up all over the plastic. So there are lines everywhere. There's glue on this side. Oh gosh, I wish that you could see. You can see the glue, right? Yeah, there's glue all over this thing. It's very sticky. If I try to use this, this shit is sticking to my finger. Let's do a magic trick. Sticking to my fingers because of the glue. If I were to have bought this, I would send it back. I don't think that you can return any BoxyCharm products. You just have to deal with what you got. Let's take, does this one have glue on it too? This one does not have glue on it. It does have scratch lines all over this. Let's just take a look at this kaleidoscope. You know what I'm talking about? You could put in like a kaleidoscope. You would watch whatever in the tube go down and it would create like a kaleidoscope thing. Anyway, this is that as a brush. I just want to know, did you get this or did you want to get this? Are you happy that you got it if you got it? Did you really want to get it if you didn't get it? If you want this and you didn't get it, I will send it to you because I don't there are four brushes. There's like an eyeliner, pencil brush. I haven't ever seen a brush like this. It's like this, but flat. And then there are two blender brushes. One is flatter than the other. These are the four brushes. If you love these, send me a message. I'll mail them to you. I don't want to though, because I don't want you to get cancer. I haven't felt this disappointed in a box since the winter Fat Fit Fun box. I really don't know what's worse. This might be worse, but I was kind of expecting this when I found out that Ipsy bought BoxyCharm and thinking about products changing, the product choices changing for them. I don't know who is in charge there. I don't know who their person is who, or who their team is who picks out products products, no idea. There are some companies who are very transparent. They tell you who the person is who is in charge of picking out products or like, hi, my name is whatever. I'm on the team who picks out the beauty products or I'm on the team who picks out the lifestyle products or whatever subscription box has, there's a person or department who picks out things. I don't know who does this for BoxyCharm. I didn't know who did it before. I definitely don't know who does it now ever since Ipsy and BoxyCharm became one. So if you got BoxyCharm, I want to know what your experience is with the boxes that came this year. So the Fresh Start box that came in January, this XOXO box that came in February. And by the way, the box number that I got, do you remember when these were two digit numbers? It's C2102024-BA. That's my box. Oh, I should mention how much the brushes are. The Pink Lux Glitter Eye Brush Collection from Glamier is $29.95. This box is a complete miss for me. There are products that are completely outdated. One by a couple years, one by a couple decades. A product that has function to it that is actually painful. I want to know your opinion of the BoxyCharm boxes for January and February 2021. Tell me everything. Tell me in the comments. Are you in love with the things that came in the boxes? Maybe you got some other products because I've seen some other products that are supposed to come in the base box that were options and they weren't so bad. I would have been happy if I got other things. I want to know what you got. What did you get in your BoxyCharm base box? Oh, right. This is what I was going to say at the beginning of the video. I know what they're doing now. I know what they're doing. What what they are doing is they are decreasing the value of the base box. What you used to pay for, $25 for five full-size Lux items, they are choosing items that are not so Lux so that you upgrade to the other options. 
They want more of your money. They want you to pay $35. They want you to pay $45 for products that would have come in the base box a year ago. Very shitty. Boxy Chong, very shitty. I don't appreciate it and I am absolutely sure that your loyal customers who purchased your boxes every month relying on consistency don't appreciate it. It's just shitty. It's a shitty business practice. Also, it's pretty shitty that you haven't told people other than Joe on his what personal Instagram or personal whatever page that Ipsy bought BoxyCharm, you need to tell your customers. You need to tell them on social media, on the BoxyCharm social media page, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, whatever. You need to tell your customers because people are gonna wonder what the hell happened to you. And the thing that happened to you is that you are not BoxyCharm anymore. You are Ipsy. Anyway, on to the video where I try out some of these products. <sighs> Sorry for being so bitter, but moving on. Join me on this magical journey on which I try these products in the BoxyCharm box. The first one was the brow bar kit thing. And I went to the website just to see exactly how they suggested we use the product. They said on the website to draw a line underneath the brow and above the brow. As you can see, I'm not happy about that. No, mm -mm, not at all. <laughs> no. I mean, when did we last do that? Do people still do that? Uh, ooh, yeah, the ah, uh, no, no. Powder brows, I'm not into it. I really never was. This, however, made it a little bit better, but no, no. I thought that maybe I could lighten up on the heads of the brows, but... Eh, no, no, still not doing it for me. Oh, confused? Not sure? Pretty sure I don't like it. Yep. And the highlighter, really? Highlighting under the brows? Uh, no. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, n no. Okay, next thing are the mascara and the eyeliner. The eyeliner, that's the smudger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just lining my eyes like I normally do. Okay, I have to say, I'm impressed with how really silky smooth the eyeliner is. It took a second for it to smudge. I really had to work it, but it turned out pretty good. I did the top and the bottom. I just wanted to see how it smudged out on the bottom and it did fine. It just took a little minute. I did need to kind of help it along with the eyeshadow, but anyway, long story short, that was fine. Okay, this is the big part. Ooh, look at that. I mean, does that look safe? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, good luck to my past self. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you all watch this. Yeah, that fucking hurt. I was like, fuck no, no. So, went to, you know, a normal eyelash curler. <laughs> okay, so then we're trying the mascara that the weird little half curler thing came in. And it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. All right, yeah, not bad. Okay, lip liner, these guys. I'm uh, just picking out colors, you know. Decided to go with the darker one. As you can see, it's a really nice thin... Oh yeah, I was trying to see what it smelled like. It doesn't smell like anything. But yeah, it's a nice thin line and I liked it. I forgot to add an ending, so thanks for watching. See you next time.